I got off to a fast start there in the first quarter. Sometimes the ball just bounces your way a little bit more. Um, and a lot of the times the people I'm guarding are getting back in defense. So I have a little more free reign of like going and chasing down the ball. Well, Caitlin Clark has been setting the WNBA on fire with her incredible performances, but her latest move off the court might be even more impressive. After an intense game against the Seattle Storm, Clark did something unexpected during the post-game press conference that left everyone in the room stunned. With the media fixated on her, she redirected their attention to her teammate, Aliyah Boston, proving she's not just a star player, but a true leader. What did Clark say that made the entire room go silent? Oh, run for Seattle and they lead by eight. After the Indiana Fever's tough 89-77 loss to the Seattle Storm, the atmosphere in the post-game press conference was heavy. The players, still grappling with the sting of defeat, took their seats in front of a room filled with eager reporters. Caitlin Clark, the star rookie guard who's been making waves since her transition from Iowa to the WNBA, was clearly the focal point. Reporters couldn't seem to get enough of her, bombarding her with one question after another. Five straight questions, all directed at Clark, while Aaliyah Boston, her teammate and the reigning Rookie of the Year, sat quietly beside her. You know how it goes with the media. They latch onto the biggest name in the room and run with it, almost forgetting that basketball is a team sport. Boston, despite her impressive contributions to the team, was being overlooked. It was getting awkward. You could see Boston fidgeting, staring at the stat sheet in her hands maybe hoping that someone would acknowledge her presence. But question after question kept coming at Clark. It was as if Boston was invisible. Find a way to continue to be more consistent and, you know, set new screens and continue to flow a little bit better in offense. And we had been doing a better job of that, but I, I didn't feel like tonight was like offense. Yeah, can you just you ask some Aaliyah no, questions. No, 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 no. Ask Kayla. No, no, no. Ask then, in a moment that showcased not just her leadership, but her genuine camaraderie, Clark did something unexpected. Just as a reporter began yet another question aimed at her, she cut them off. Ask Aaliyah a question, she insisted, pointing towards Boston. It wasn't just a suggestion, it was a gentle but firm command. Boston, a bit taken aback and probably feeling the pressure, tried to deflect with a quick, no, I'm good. But Clark wasn't having it. Ask Aaliyah a question, she repeated. More insistently this time, it was a powerful moment. Clark, who could have easily soaked up the spotlight, chose to share it instead. She made it clear that Boston's voice was just as important. Finally, the reporters got the hint. They started directing their questions to Boston, who responded thoughtfully and in detail despite the initial cold shoulder from the media. Reporters in the room seemed momentarily stunned by her assertiveness, but quickly adjusted their focus to include Aaliyah Boston. The shift in dynamics was palpable. On social media, the response was overwhelmingly positive. Fans and commentators alike praised Clark for her leadership and for standing up for her teammates. It was a refreshing change to see an athlete use their platform to lift up others rather than bask in the limelight alone. Tweets and posts poured in, celebrating the moment as a highlight of sportsmanship and camaraderie. This incident shed a bright light on the relationship between Clark and Boston. It's clear that their bond goes beyond the court. Clark's insistence on giving Boston the chance to speak demonstrated a deep respect and understanding between the two. It wasn't just about making a point to the media, it was about ensuring her teammate felt valued and acknowledged. This kind of support is crucial in any team, and it speaks volumes about the culture within the Indiana Fever. A team that stands together, especially in the face of adversity, is bound to be stronger and more cohesive. The broader implications for women's basketball are significant. Incidents like this highlight the importance of visibility and representation in the sport. The WNBA has been fighting for increased recognition and respect, and moments like these contribute to that cause. By drawing attention to the importance of equal coverage, Clark not only supported her teammate, but also advocated for the entire league. The public's positive reaction further indicates that there is a growing audience eager to see women's sports get the attention they deserve. 
women's basketball is experiencing a surge in popularity. And it's not just because of one or two standout players. It's about the collective effort and the compelling stories of teamwork and resilience. The increased viewership and attendance this season can be attributed to the dynamic personalities and the inspiring narratives emerging from the league. Clark's action is a perfect example of why people are tuning in. They want to see athletes who are not only skilled, but also have a strong sense of integrity and solidarity. Chosen as the number one overall pick. How did, how did that make you feel to see that? <laughs> That's pretty cool, yeah, some future teammates. I think it just shows the excitement. And the league announced that May marked the highest attended opening month in its 26 year history. Viewership numbers have also skyrocketed, with the start of this season being the most watched across every network. This isn't just a fluke, it's the result of a perfect storm of talent, personality, and a rising tide of interest in women's sports. One of the driving forces behind this surge, what is this year's rookie class, which has been nothing short of spectacular. Caitlin Clark, of course, has been a standout. Her dynamic play style and natural charisma have drawn fans in droves. But she's not alone. Angel Reese, Cameron Brink, and Kate Martin have all played pivotal roles in bringing new eyes to the WNBA. In my life, basketball on the national stage, easy, but that was like, before they rolled me into the set, I was like, my heart was like pounding out of my chest, but it went okay, so. And you've been the face of women's basketball, Mark. Angel Reese, who's been dubbed a powerhouse on the court, has been breaking records left and right. She tied the WNBA record for the most consecutive games with a double-double in a single season. Her performance on the court is electric, and her presence off it is just as impactful. Reese isn't afraid to speak her mind and has embraced the role of being a vocal advocate for the sport. She said, I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that villain for my teammates. If I want to be that, I know I'll go down in history. Her confidence and commitment to the game have made her a fan favorite and a key figure in the league's rise. Cameron Brink of the Los Angeles Sparks is another name that's been turning heads. Her agility and skill set have added a new dimension to her team's gameplay. She's not just making a splash, she's making waves that are felt across the league. Her ability to read the game and make crucial plays has made her indispensable to the Sparks. Brink's highlights are among the most shared on social media, driving engagement and bringing in new fans who might not have paid attention to the WNBA before. University of Iowa. And then there's Kate Martin of the Las Vegas Aces, whose tenacity and athleticism have made her a standout. Martin's contribution to her team's success has been immense, and her play style is both entertaining and effective. She's the kind of player who makes you sit up and take notice, whether it's with a game-winning shot or a defensive play that turns the tide of a match. The energy she brings to the court is contagious, and it's clear that she's going to be a significant part of the WNBA's future. These players, along with Clark, have not only elevated their respective teams, but have also brought a fresh wave of excitement to the entire league. Their presence has attracted more media coverage, more fans, and more respect for women's basketball. The public's engagement on social media has been through the roof, with the league reporting that four of the five moments that drove the most engagement on social channels this season featured highlights from Clark, Reese, Brink, or Martin. This engagement translates to increased attendance at games, higher viewership numbers, and a growing fan base that is more invested in the WNBA than ever before. The WNBA's growth isn't just about numbers, it's about the stories and personalities that make the league so compelling. The league is becoming a platform for these incredible athletes to showcase their skills and to advocate for issues that matter to them. It's about more than just basketball. It's about representation, empowerment, and breaking barriers. The visibility of these players and their willingness to speak out on important issues are helping to reshape the landscape of women's sports. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.